Balik tayo sa mga balita. Kampo ni presidential candidate Bongbong Marcos Jr. Tinawag na reckless ang mga pahayag ng aksyon demokratiko sa 23 billion peso estate tax collection. Si Vin Pasqua sa detalye. Tinawag na irresponsable ng kampo ni dating senador at ngayon ay presidential candidate Bongbong Marcos ang mga pahayag ng aksyon demokratiko na estate tax collection ng mga Marcos na nagkakahalaga ng 23 billion pesos. Ito ang inihayag ngayon ni Attorney Vic Rodriguez ang tagapagsalita ng kampo ni BBM sa eksklusibong panayam ng ASPN. Ano sa palagay nyo? Nagtataka ang kanilang kampo sa paglabas ng isyong ito sa panahon ng kampanya at nalalapit na ang 2022 elections. It's either the political party and its officers are reckless and irresponsible or it's either they know a lot of things about the case or they they do not know a lot of things about the case eh, kaya nag-iissue na lang ng uh, irresponsible statements na obvious naman eh. They're just wanting to promote further hatred and negativity in this campaign. Anya, under litigation pa ang kasong ito at wala pa umanong finality. If there are, for example, Ali at Pat, sampung properties, mobines, yung value ng estate tax. Tapos ngayon, hindi pa na-establish the, the, proper, the ownership of those properties that are still in question have yet to establish the, the indubitably They have yet to indubitably establish the ownership of those properties. Now, kung pending litigation pa yung ownership, wouldn't it be safe to say na hindi pa rin final kung yung si gross owner. computation ng estate tax na sinasabi ngayon nitong uh, isang uh, political group? Sa kabilang banda, malinaw na may verbal agreement sa pagitan ng Bureau of Internal Revenue at ng Presidential Commission of Good Governance o PCGG sa nasabing buwis. At mismong ang gobyerno ang naghain ng motion for reconsideration sa Sandigan Bayan. Because it is the government, Ali, who filed a motion for reconsideration. And when you file a motion for reconsideration, meaning the decision rendered, initial rendered, is adverse against the interest of your client. So uh -huh. if the government is the one who filed the motion for reconsideration, eh, ibig sabihin, nanalo ang uh, Marcos sa kaso uh -huh. nito. Di Kandigan Bayan, uh, Ali. Yun lang naman ang sinasabi namin. The case have yet to attain finality. Uh -huh. So let's do it for the judgment of the court. It's, it's, it's a legal issue. And uh, ganun talaga, sabi ko nga, wala namang nananalo pag nag-drag on ang kaso, whether gobyerno yan or between two private litigants, eh, mahirap yung ganyang kahabang kaso. Vin Pasqua, para sa mata ng angila, matatag, matapang, matapat.